Greetings. As always, please like, subscribe to Performance Reviews. And if you like what we're doing, go help us out on Patreon. So what I have here, three machines on my bench, because I wish to explain a simple concept. Whether you are selling vacuums, recommending vacuums, or using them, you will appreciate this. Now I understand a lot of my audience is above this level and very technical, but most of the people who use these machines are not. Um, excuse that. Um, so I want to explain why you don't want to use a direct air tragedy in the commercial setting. So I have here a sanitaire. This machine was made in 2015. It is dead. It is not coming back. And it's dead because somebody recommended the wrong machine for what this person's doing. So I'm going to show you the same things basically on two of these machines. We have a bad motor. And this motor had kind of a rough life. You can see the brush rollers all rusted and stuff. Um, you can see that this machine's had a rough life. And it, what it does is it lives in a restaurant. Um, the problem with restaurants is they are, and any commercial use, but particularly with restaurants, is some of the stuff they're sucking up, it's a little iffy. It's like greasy and nasty and it's food particulates. So we see a fan that's ripped up. We have a pulley that's worn out. Um, the gasket's gone. That's the missing in action. Um, we're going to explain to you kind of how these work. The other thing going on with this machine you can see just the, the built up stuff everywhere and that all built up, I've already cleaned some of it off as it blows it into the back. You can see the Kirby cake has just blown up. Now the reason I'm making this video and why I don't recommend direct air machines, even though they clean well, and the people have, they're very romantic for a lot of people, uh, is one, this belt. When I had an apartment, I was changing these belts monthly. I can't imagine how often you have to change it when you're using it commercially like this. Um, two, this roller. This particular roller is sleeve bearings, but they have ball bearing variants, but still it's uh, the idea of having to change your strips and stop and clean this roller off. Eh, just get rid of it and change it out. Um, and again, you are going to change fans Why through lifespan. Two years, it's going to be a fan. And the bill of this vacuum is twice whatever any uh, bypass machine would be uh, knowing and I, I know this machine doesn't have long to live but the customer is going to fix it but it, it didn't have long to live now what I'm comparing this to we're going to use the SIBO Windsor platform but this could have this could imply to uh, Sanitaire or Bissell there are numerous platforms that are have basically copied this idea uh, so the idea with this is all that nasty junk, first of all, it's going to end up in the bag. And if it goes through the bag or the bag rips or something, it'll end up in this filter. And that's it. That's as far as it's going. It's not going in the motor. I'm not taking a motor apart cleaning. I'm not doing any of that nonsense. Second is because it's a buy this machine is made for continuous commercial use. Rather than changing a belt, that's not there. There's no belt to change. It's one less thing for the user to have to do. And again, I know my audience is pretty technical and they say, oh, these belts are easy to change. Well, whether it's a Royal, a Sanitaire, an Orc, most people don't know how to change it. Most people have trouble changing it, believe it or not. Um, so being able to, without tools, and it's written on here in English, um, it should be written in Spanish as well, I suppose. Uh, but it's written on there how to change it. So that's it. That's all it would need to change the brush for. So that means if this customer is coming in here for service, wipe down the inside of this, get them a new brush roller, make sure there's nothing jammed in the machine, change a bag and a filter, and it would be out of here. So that means, first of all, the customer could do that themselves if they wished. But it also means there is no labor, almost no labor associated in maintaining this machine versus maintaining this machine. Also, if you were to run over the cord or something with one of these, 
the cord changes uh, quite quickly right here. Where on these older generation, and again, these were good, but this is old, old technology. I have to rewire our cord in there, which most customers don't feel comfortable doing. So that again, puts it out of service. So I'm just explaining why direct air machines really have no place in the market. We could say they're cheaper, but they're not. This machine and that machine cost about the same, and you can get both of them discounted. You know, if you go through all sorts of avenues, I'm sure you can find them discounted. I've seen both the, both the sanitary systems discounted and the SIBA Windsor systems discounted, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, so now I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to have to strip this machine out and do some stuff I wouldn't normally have to do on a vacuum because it's such a mess, and I don't, I don't know what else to do but to clean it. Uh, so again, I'm just going to... I'm also going to open the underside because I want to show you guys that before we end this video. And again, if this was a clean air machine, the machine would be leaving my bench by now. We are going to take... Also, we have a mismatch of screws on these, which are always kind of an interesting thing. We're going to pull the hood. You gotta see the hood. Now, this is the newer style Chinese motor, uh, which doesn't last as long either as, so, as the older sanitary ones did. Um, you used to be able to just replace the bottom bearing plates, and that it's gone, unfortunately. Now we replace the whole motor. So, again, I'm stripping this down because I'm gonna have to wash everything here. There's, there's no other choice with the amount of dirt that's in here. So, if, in conclusion, when you are recommending a machine for use of commercial use, you want a bypass motor. You want a machine that doesn't have a belt that you have to change. Ideally, a machine with bags that are interchangeable. This dump out bag, um, as many of you know, these have become illegal in a couple states to sell uh, because of the. You can just see the dust coming out of here. Um, anytime you can see dust coming out of a vacuum, it's pretty bad. Uh, I would be worried about damaging my particle counter if we tested it with us. That's, that's just how bad this machine is. And they do make a HEPA bag variant of it, so I would encourage that. Uh, now, their HEPA bag variants, they charge a bit more for, so typically people don't buy them, because the retail ends up being more. And of course, we got a pretty chewed up cord here as well. So again, instead of being able to quickly change the cord, I'm having to rewire something. Uh, so as always, please like, subscribe, and I hope that helps new salesmen and helps people who are in the industry uh, or thinking about house cleaning, like, or any sort of professional janitorial uh, things. Oh, you can see the bottom base plate is cracked. So that's going to need a new motor. As always, please like, subscribe, comment below.